Bernie Filoni takes off on a brilliant run. This was Ron Foxcroft's dream. Play quarterback for the hometown Hamilton Tiger Cats, just like Bernie Filoni. But an injury quickly derailed Ron's football fantasy. I hurt my back and I thought, oh my God, I got no reason to go on with sports, no reason to continue in school. And uh, so I turned to officiating, first uh, baseball, then fastball, and then basketball. Ron's first game in the world of basketball officiating was a memorable one for all the wrong reasons. I blew the whistle twice, both calls were wrong. And at the end of the game, Tom Gallagher came over from the CYO to pay me my 75 cents and he said, um, we want change because you're rotten and you're never gonna make it. I said, it wasn't funny at the time, it's today's humor. Uh, it was yesterday's anguish and uh, that motivated me. Ron certainly progressed. 13 years later, he was on the world stage in Montreal for the 76 Olympics. However, he was immediately met with ignorance and bigotry. And I walked in and they said to me, Canadians can't play this game, you can't ref this game, you're only getting one game. Lo and behold, I ended up getting 11 games in the Olympics, including the gold medal game. I went back to my hotel room in Montreal after the game and somebody from the NCAA knocked on my door and he said, uh, have you ever considered officiating in the uh, NCAA? And I said, well, first thing, I'm Canadian. Second, that's a dream. Uh, where do I apply? He said, don't bother. You've just been hired. Ron would referee over 25 years in nine major conferences in the NCAA. He is the only Canadian to do so, something he constantly heard about early in his career. Well, it started out a little bit difficult because every time I went out and made a call, the coaches would say, well, what do you expect? He's Canadian. He should be refereeing hockey. But one particular game in Houston would change the landscape for Ron forever. I walked into the locker room. There was a referee from Louisiana. He said, um, you're Canadian and you're taking a job away from my buddy. I'm not working this game with you. This isn't right. And I said, well, there's 15,000 fans out there and there's two teams out there that hate each other and I'm working the game. So I went out to work the game by myself. And about 60 seconds before tip off, he came out and we worked the game in Houston. And the game was a war. Uh, we, we had close to 70 fouls, at least 65 fouls. We walked into the locker room and he turned to me, he gave me a big hug. And he says, you know, you can ref, you're one of us. He says, I know you're Canadian. I says, you bet I'm Canadian. I'm from Hamilton, Ontario. He says, that's where the Tiger Cats play. Well, this ref told every other ref that I can imagine with him that he could reach that this guy from Hamilton Tiger Cat Hamilton can really work. And my whole career changed. But that wasn't the only challenge Ron would face. Whistle malfunction was a recurring problem which usually meant a missed call. During an international game, Ron would make a personal vow to end the error. In 1984, there's 20,000 people and those people are crazy. And my whistle with the little P got stuck. And I remember well that thinking, you know, I may not live because the foul I missed was on Brazil. But if I live, I'm going to come back to Canada. And I, no matter what, I'm going to do a peeless whistle. Ron persevered to get his peeless whistle made. It is currently sold in over 140 countries and is used by every major sporting organization. Ron is known just as much for his entrepreneurial success and athletic achievements as he is for his community involvement. He simply radiates Hamilton pride. That's what Hamilton's all about. 
It's people of integrity, people of honesty, people of com uh, compassion, passion, commitment. We are the most aggressively generous people in anywhere in the world. I love Hamilton. I love the people of Hamilton. The Hamilton Sports Hall of Fame welcomes Ron Foxcroft.